So hi guys, it's Shani, and I got a voice note from Matt Watson, you know that guy from Carwell. And this is what he said. Listen, I've got a favour to ask you. Would you mind lending me your Lamborghini Urus, please? I've never reviewed one for car wires. It'd be really handy if I could review yours. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Totally promise. You lend it me? Go on. So I was like, okay, I'll let him borrow my car. But I was like, look after it, treat her gently. A load of people on his video was like, Yanni, you need to watch this video. You need to watch this video. So I'm going to watch it and do a reaction video and see exactly how he treated my car. So let's watch it together. You are not a friend of me. So previously my car was actually PPF'd in like a pearl white, stripped it back to black. Matt obviously took it for the test drive in black. And now I've actually wrapped it in like a matte blue. What color should I do next? Or should I sell it? No, I'm not gonna sell it. Anyway, let's watch the video. This is a Lamborghini Urus. You see, it's massive, it's extremely powerful, it's slightly controversial and it's completely unnecessary but there is something slightly cool about it. I'm gonna talk you around the exterior, the interior, uncover some trinkets inside, which might reveal who actually owns this very car. I'm also gonna drive it, brake test it, and launch it from 0 to 60 and over the stunning quarter mile. Many, many. Launch it. When me and Matt spoke on the phone, I said to him, please don't launch my car. We're 29 seconds in and he's already like, yeah, I'm gonna launch this car. This could be a long video. Many, 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 many times to see if I can break it. <laughs> see if he can break it. If he breaks it, he's gonna pay for it. He obviously hasn't broke it because I've got my car back, but I'm still not happy. For an SUV, it's very sporty looking. I mean, look how raked that rear window is. It's got this big diffuser as well. This one is in carbon fiber, look at that. That rear diffuser is a Nero um, rear diffuser, so it doesn't actually look like that from factory. Then standard rear diffuser is very small and usually comes in silver. Come on, fibre. Roof spoiler as well. I mean, who could own this car? All day, every day. I think they're actually missing two letters from here. It should be an M in there and an A there. One thing does annoy me about this. A what? Be an M in there and an A? I don't get it. Let me go back. Every day. I think they're actually missing two letters from here. It should be an M in there and an A there. What does that spell? What does that spell? An M in there and an A. I think they're actually missing two letters from here. It should be an M in there and an A there. An M in there and an A there. I, I don't know. What, y M C A. <laughs> when you read it out after you're like oh yeah good one matt stick of truth i'm gonna poke this person's card for the stick of truth it's not just press cars that get that kind of treatment you know i think this might be carbon wrap on here and carbon wrap on the door handles it's actually quite hard to tell because it's pretty decent actually hmm wonder who would do that this one has some extra bits of pieces on it such as carbon trim or should i say carbon chin look at that it's actually called a Nero body kit. It's added to the price of this car. So the starting price of an Urus comes in around 178,000 pounds. This one has had an extra 80 grand spent on it. Great choice of colors. I love the red, the black and the silver trim. Really, really smart. He's definitely becoming a Lambo fan. That's for sure. I bet you he drops the Audi joke in there. Let's see. Of his display, nice and clear, cool Lamborghini style graphics. So all this tech reminds me of the tech in an Audi RS Q8. So I think the owner of this car would probably be in a bit of denial that this is basically an Audi, really, with a Lamborghini badge there. No, 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 I'm not having it. It's not an Audi, it's a Lamborghini. And if you drive both, you'll know. They all try and say it, it's annoying. Very annoying. Yeah, big door bins, look at that, and... Um, Extra sensitive baby wipes. Whoever owns this car has going through my stuff in my car, yeah. Obviously I just had a baby. So is he. So just going just going through my stuff. What we got in here, so a decent sized glove box, and they have what's this? This is like deodorant with quarter moisturizing cream for extra sensitive skin. You've gotta stay fresh. You've gotta like it's not all about kicking, you know what I mean? You've got to smell nice. What's this? What's, wildberry drops? These are like the kind of travel suites that you used to have 
in the 1980s that you wish you just had something like some jelly babies or something nice. See, he's taking the mick out of those sweets. They're the classic sweets. They taste good, they last. Even if you know about those sweets, let me know, comment, let me know that you know about those sweets. Matt don't know. And what you have here is the same twin turbo four litre V8 that you get in a Porsche Cayenne and an Audi RS Q8. However, here in the Lamborghini, it is the most powerful version you can get of that engine. 650 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque, drives all four wheels for an eight speed torque converter automatic gearbox. He does know his stats, fair play to Matt. He is actually very good with his stats. I don't think he was there reading it. He memorizes them and I've seen it time and time again, especially when we have four cars and he's got to talk about them one by one. So yeah, so far, not bad. Need a bit more excitement though. It's an Aurus. Let's see what happens when he drives it. So let's hear it. Go on, let's start the engine. Let me open the valve. I'm sure you won't mind. You see the smoke coming out my exhaust and that car's not warm and he's revving the absolute nuts off it. Now you probably guessed already, the person that would do that is someone that appears in our drag races, isn't it? It is of course, Yanni from Yanni Mais. Now, I'm going to launch this car. He doesn't want me to, but it's part of the reviews. I want to know what it is from 0 to 60 and over the standing quarter. And he's going to be a bit cross because he asked me not to. So to try and make up for that, what I want you to do is click on the pop out banner up there to go and subscribe to Yanni's personal channel and say, listen, please let Matt off for launching your car. We needed to see it. All right, go make sure you do that and subscribe. So use his power of having big YouTube following to get people to follow me and subscribe to me then he could launch my car. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hmm, all right. Now, if you want to see another SUV perform better, click on the pop-out banner up there to see what car it is. So he's reviewing my car and he's like, if you want to see another SUV perform better, he's like, click up there. No, we don't want to do that, Matt. This is the best SUV on the market by a million miles. You've got a four-wheel drive system with a torque sensing disc in the middle, and it's rear-wheel drive bias. The rear wheel's turning the same direction as the front to help you turn into the corner, and it lowers. The car does look good, you know, when it's driving. Obviously, I drive the car, so I don't actually see what it looks like, but it does look really, really nice. And obviously, the car's blue now. Um, I actually should have given it to him after I wrapped it because um, God knows what stone chips he would have peppered up the front of my car. And then there's the active anti-roll bars. So what they'll do is stop the car leaning in the bend so it can prop at the corners of the cars. But when you're going on a bumpy road, they can decouple so the wheels are free to just move up and down to help. <laughs> do you see when he, when he, like this, and it's like this, and then it's like this. Are you right there, Matt? Let's go and abuse Yanni's car. <laughs> Sorry, Yanni, I'm gonna drive it like I stole it. Oh, first thing. Genius. Not... He's actually not on the road. He's at, I think he's at Millbrook. Um, so like, you hire the track and you can drive it around and race it around. The steering's really good. It doesn't have much feel, but it's precise and it's quick. See, people always say about the 24 inch wheels. See, doesn't mess up the handling. People are, oh, have you put 24s, does it mess it? Not on a Norris. On a Rolls Royce, yes, but not on a Norris. This has got to be the best handling SUV. Well, it's between this and this SUV. Click on the pop-out banner up there. No, don't bother clicking because this is the best SUV ever. It is a bit of a wide old beast. The car, not Yanni. Sorry, Yanni. He's now a dad. So he dropped dad jokes. Dead jokes, more like. Check this out. This car has the rear entertainment package. Four and a half thousand pound option. I hope Yanni's boys appreciate this. You know, they get to enjoy this. You say that, but they play rock, paper, scissors, sit in the front, even though they've got the rear entertainment. Doesn't make sense, does it? The design of the headrests slightly protrude forward, so it pushes your head forward like that, so you end up in a bit of a bad posture. Good posture. He's saying bad posture. Sit straight, Matt. When you go to get in, they stick out quite a way, and I've already jabbed my shin on it, and it's very painful. When you're getting out, you might accidentally like tread on it and snap it. If you're an idiot, it's a side skirt, not a side step. So you don't step on it, and it doesn't protrude that much. I'm not convinced by these switches here, and especially not by this stupid reverse lever. So this is just for reverse. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that. The reverse uh, lever is, is a bit overkill, I'm not sure why. But what's this, what's he lost in here? Pound shop? No way! <laughs> no way, Yanni's yeah, been to the pound shop. Someone that owns the pound shop sent me a package at Yanni Mai's with loads of goodies. I think I filmed that on one of the T-ways, so that's why I had that there. Plus, 
There's nothing wrong with shopping at the pound shop. What's wrong with that? Everything's a pound. Well, it doesn't quite work like that, but it's a pound shop. Uh, yeah, you're going to end up having to constantly say to them, well, what car do you own, bruv, hey? You know when Matt says bruv, doesn't quite come across, does it? What car do you have, bruv? Yeah, no, Matt, don't, don't use that word, mate. Still going down. Kneel before me, car, kneel. Molly down there, love. Oh, wow. Did he really say that? And he got away with it. Oh, wow. Um... Wow. Here we go, left on the brake, it's in course mode, no SC, throw the throttle. Launch control is possible. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, I've raced with Yanni a few times in this car and sometimes it nails the launch. Here we go, come on baby, Lambo all day, every day. And then other times he complains, like, oh, it's bogged down. And I always thought he was just giving it all that, but it does sometimes just bog down a bit. Oh, it took a second to get away. Can I do better? One more go. Yeah, that split second where it bogs down, slows the car, and that is how I lose my drag races. Anyway, let's see what it does second time. Come on, less than 3.6. 3.57. Yeah, that's better. 3.57. And 11.72. And I'm running 24 inch wheels. That's better. If it doesn't bog down, it goes quicker. You didn't lie, do I look stupid? Yes. Yeah, I definitely look stupid though. So then what's my final verdict on the Lamborghini Urus? Should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Buy it. Well, I reckon you should shortlist it. I mean, it's an immense high performance SUV that really does feel like a Lamborghini. Now I'll probably save some money and just get an Audi RS Q8 instead. Now saying that's gonna annoy you, and in fact, do you know what? He's been really kind, lent me his car, and I've gone and criticized it slightly and been a bit rude at times about him. Sorry, Yanni, please forgive me, please. In fact, you can help me get him to forgive me by making sure you go to his channel and subscribe there, okay? Yanni channel. So that's Matt's review on my Urus. Launched it a few times, slammed on the brakes, took it around the track, slated it, went through my personal stuff. I'm not sure I'll be lending him another one of my cars. But yeah, it was a good review. I definitely disagree though. You can't shortlist it, you need to buy it. It's the best car on the market. I'm gonna go and check my tires out to make sure he didn't wear them out. So I hope you enjoyed my reaction video. We love Matt, I love filming with him, we have fun, uh, and we are total polar opposites. So um, yeah, until you catch me on Car Wow again, I'll see you soon. Take care, and Matt launched my car, I'm not happy. And also, he's not forgiven. Or maybe, Matt's cool. I'm not happy. See ya.